So in this video, I'm going to explain the difference between cis and trans alkenes. And so first, to begin with, we need to start off by defining the different types of alkenes, such as monosubstituted, disubstituted, trisubstituted, and tetrasubstituted alkenes. And so to begin with, monosubstituted alkenes have one R group. And so that means it has three hydrogens attached to the alkene, or double bond. Disubstituted alkenes have two R groups and two hydrogens. Trisubstituted alkenes have three R groups and one hydrogen. And then finally, tetrasubstituted alkenes have four R groups and no hydrogens. One thing to note is this disubstituted alkene can have different arrangements. So I just drew one like this. You could have the two R's on the same side, so over here, or you could have the two R's over here. And that would be considered a disubstituted alkene, but they are different molecules. And so this cis versus trans thing only applies to disubstituted alkenes. So pretty much for this video, we're only going to be talking about disubstituted alkenes. And so cis and trans descriptions are only used for disubstituted alkenes. And so below you can see cis designations represent, it essentially means that the R groups and the H groups are on the same side of the double bond. And so imagine the, the line, like the middle line, is here. And so if the hydrogens are on the same side and the R groups are on the same side, that's a cis double bond. Then the trans double bond is when the R groups and the hydrogen groups are on opposite sides of that middle line. And so one question you might ask is, well, would this molecule right here be considered trans since the R groups are on opposite sides? And the answer to that would be no, because this is not a stereoisomer. Cis and trans double bonds are stereoisomers. So this does not count as trans. And additionally, this is due to the fact that there needs to be two different substituents on the carbon 1 here and the carbon 2. So this carbon can't be bonded to two hydrogens. So it has to be two different substituents. So pretty much it's pretty easy. Cis, the H's are on the same side. And then trans, the H's or R groups are essentially diagonal to each other. And one last thing I want to stress again is to remember that mono, tri, or tetrasubstituted alkenes cannot show cis or trans isomerism. So those substituted alkenes, mono, tri, or tetrasubstituted alkenes, cannot be cis or trans. And so that pretty much sums it up for cis versus trans alkenes. Thanks for watching the video. If you found it useful or liked it, please be sure to give it a like and share it with your friends.